are you looking for Google My Business contact phone number in Australia? And you're searching and you can't find it? That's because Google My Business Help section provides different options according to the issue that its customers are having. That means if you log into your Google My Business profile listing and press on the support section, you will not see a contact phone number here. Even though if you press on contact us option, make sense? So what you can do is actually get Google My Business support team to give you a call in Australia using your mobile number or your business number, landline number, okay? So simply visit the URL for support section for Google My Business and follow the prompts by providing specific information related to the issue that you want help with. Remember, what you type in step one will determine the contact option. It can be a phone call, it can be email, or it can even be an online chat. Let's imagine you moved your business elsewhere, so therefore Google Maps shows incorrect details and you need assistance with that. So in the step one, you'd provide move business, then select next step here. It will further guide you as to it tries to understand what you're typing here let's say moved business I'll show you that option now because we've selected that what it's saying is you know what there is some information on internet for you to learn more about how to resolve the issue that we've provided so you can press on the links to learn more and read more about it. Okay, but let's just say, you know what? No, I know that I need help with my business location, for example. So now I can press on next step. Now, contact option for Google My Business. Contact phone number, as we can see, is not revealed here because there isn't one for us to grab the phone and call them. And that actually makes perfect sense because there are millions of customers using Google My Business, right? So instead, what it wants is for you to provide details about the problem that you're experiencing, provide your contact details so that they can call you. So let's press on get a call. All you then need to do is simply follow the steps as in provide your name, If you own the business, you select a business. If you're a, a typical Google Map user, then you select that and so on. Okay. So country, as we can see here, I've selected Australia, but let's say if you're living in Canada and you want to call Google My Business, then you select the similar options. Makes sense for contacting them. So then you select Canada as your country. So wherever you're lo located, select that. Here it says your phone number. Australian international code starts with plus six one. And then you provide your business number. Okay, your phone number. Whether it's a mobile or landline. What is your email address? Then you provide your email address. Alternative email address is smart to provide. So provide uh, additional option just in case when they try and contact you, things go into a spam box and you won't interact with them. So providing an alternative email number is also smart. Another email and so on. Now, business name, obviously, this is very important that you provide the details that is coming from Google my business profile that you operate, that you verify. 
and the address for your business. If you are not sure, simply search Google Maps with your business. Let's say um, Flinders Street, Melbourne. Let's say number one, two, one. If that was my your business location, then you select that. It's very important that we provide the business address coming from the information section from my as in from your Google My Business listing. That's very important because Google is going, going to match everything. So business name, your business name, obviously, registered business name in Australia if you have one, business address. And here, what is the public URL or maps link for your business page? That means, let's imagine we were to search for um, let's say this Italian restaurant we owned. Makes sense. So then I'd press on. Actually, what what we can do is we can press on share. And copy the link, so we can do that, because at that moment, when they paste the URL, it will provide the details for that local business. Okay, so if I own that business, what is the public URL means that simply type in your business name in Google Maps, search it, then press on share link, copy the link, then provided here. That is the public URL for your business. What is your business website URL? Obviously, in Australia, we'll have .com.au, but yours may be just .com, okay? So you provide the website details for your business. Furthermore, final step is to explain your issue with details so that Google My Business support team can better understand how to assist you when they give you a call, okay? So let's imagine I say I move my business to a new location, but Google Maps is still showing the old address. Something like this will further guide the support team when they interact with your request, okay? So, Google My Business contact phone number in Australia, there isn't one apart from you following these steps, providing your Australian phone number so that the support team can call you. Once again, the detail that you provide in step one will determine the contact options, whether it's getting a call, whether it's chatting, whether it's email. I thank you very much for learning with Renkia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.